Hey, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. In today's video, uh, we're going to make a leak down tester. Um, it's, it's pretty simple, and uh, it'll save you a ton of money versus going out and uh, buying one from, uh, uh, from one of the big manufacturers or whatever. So, um, what you're going to need is some epoxy. This is a quick five minute uh, epoxy. You can also use JB Weld. Uh, I have some Teflon paste pipe sealant or you can use Teflon tape either or. Uh, over here I have uh, my compression tester so um, I have a video on which one I chose. I also have a blog post on which one I uh, chose. I don't have the model number with me but I'll, I'll mention it in my blog post. Um, you're going to need a Schrader valve removal tool to remove this Schrader valve which I'll explain in a little bit. Um, the idea here is to, we're going to apply compressed air from this side, so we're going to need, you know, your hookup fitting here, a pressure regulator. Um, I have a gauge on this model, but I taped it off. We're not going to be uh, concerned about that. Um, here's the real custom piece right here. So in between the pressure regulator and where the gauge is going to go, uh, we need a, a restrictor. So basically I mixed up some epoxy and pushed it in this pipe, let it set up, and I drilled a 40 thou hole in there. I believe it's a number 60 drill bit. So it's a 40 thousandths hole inside the epoxy plug that's in here. The epoxy's packed in about half inch, quarter inch, just enough to to plug it and then just drill the hole through. So I had it disassembled just so I can show you. you I don't know if you can see that in the video, but uh, basically that's that's the key part of this. Um, so what I did here is I put on a, a quick connect fitting so I can go from a compression test straight to, to a leak down test. And you're going to need this hose from the compression test, which will hook up here. And you'll have to remove this Schrader valve. All right, so let's go ahead and just uh, put this thing back together. Probably should have chose a quarter inch versus three eighths over here instead of using two bushings, but that's all right. All right, so that's all tight. The gauge is going to go on here. And I'll leave this hose off for now. So when we apply compressed air here, now I have the compressor set at over 100 PSI. So you can see before you hook this up, now you would remove a spark plug, put the engine at TDC, put this in the plug hole, and we'll bump this up to 100 PSI. So that's a hunter right there. And when you hook it up, you should get a massive leak. And in this case, it should drop down to zero. See that? And as I... Less leakage, you'll have a higher percentage. See that? 100 PSI, and as that starts to leak... So basically, your leakage will be your set pressure, 100 PSI, minus whatever it ends up at. Let's say we get 90. 100 minus 90, that's 10%. So that's a very simple 
uh, tool that you can make here. I think uh, a compression tester and a leak down tester is crucial in uh, um, diagnosing uh, valves, piston rings, head gaskets, um, cylinder walls, and so forth. So I'll have some videos. I'll, I have to uh, do a leak down test on a bike I have here, so I'll definitely link to that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this will cost you 20, 30 bucks plus the compression tester, which you should have anyway. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. It's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com.